Hey everybody, Custom Mike's here. Sorry about that. Been tinkering in the shop for uh, a little while, and Scott has been working diligently, but we haven't had a lot of stuff to talk about with the Covina wires going on and all the uh, aftermath of the events that uh, I don't need to talk about here. There's enough of that going on too. So we've been uh, just quietly working in the background on our stuff. Scott has been working at work and uh, uh, you know, just life goes on kind of type of deal. But I wanted to give you an update on what we've been doing. And Scott, if you look down right there, he's been prepping the headlights for uh, finishing them. Uh, oops, wrong way. Uh, so finishing them. And he's cleaning them and neutralizing them from the lead uh, paste and all that type of stuff. And um, he's doing a really good job. It's, sometimes it's hard to understand, especially the first time uh, when you are trying to... Let me actually switch side. Uh, we'll leave it like that right there. Um, you know, there's a lot of work to to understand how some of these lines are going to be when you're creating them from nothing and uh, you know getting them to look right uh, uh, is just kind of an art form so to say and uh, you know it's got to struggle a little bit with it but he's getting a handle on it now it's kind of one of those things if you've been riding a bicycle once uh, or when you were learning how to ride a bicycle is what I mean uh, is uh, uh, what do you call it you, you can't give up on it. You just got to keep at it and keep at it and keep at it. And somebody can tell you how to do things over and over and over again. But the reality is, is that until you get in, get your hands dirty and mess it up, uh, <clears throat> you're really not going to get it. You know, you need to go in and actually do it. And, you know, he's been filing on this for a couple of days. And... You know, it's like I told him, we're not going to put any more lead on. It's far from perfect right now. It looks pretty good, actually, you know, so to say. But the finishing portion of it, we're going to do in, in uh, uh, plastic filler, simply because it's faster and easier to work with. We have a really good foundation here, and he's got his lines to where he wants them. And you can see he's been filing like a mad dog. <laughs> Lots of lead left over. Um, just to get it to where he wants it to be. Hello, Canada. Hello, Alan. Hello, Jeff. So, and also, sometimes you don't know if you want to terminate early or if you want to terminate late. And it's a design feature, kind of, so to speak of. And so I told him that you can do one this way and one the other way because we, we added a little bit extra lead on it there. And if he doesn't like either or, we can fix that later on. But some of the stuff you want to see in primer too, uh, just to get an idea of what it's actually going to look like, you know. So, but I really like the way these uh, headlights are turning out, and he's doing a really good job. So, anyhow, and we're working on some repair panels for some 39 Ford, uh, or 39 Chevy, I'm sorry. And I got to say, if you're going to looking to buy repair panels for a 39 Chevy from... Uh, uh, unnamed company uh, if you buy the cheap stuff it is going to be cheap and it's going to cost you this is just a straight piece of sheet metal that they bent in a really bad uh, break and for those of you who know the doors on a Chevy is actually have a compound curve they're not straight so these panels are virtually useless for that purpose and you're better off making your own on top of that there, there's, these are 48 inches long, which means that the packaging will be oversized, which means they'll charge you almost the same amount for what the parts cost just to ship them, which is a ripoff itself, since the reality is you don't need the last six inches of it uh, to, to make a repair on the panel. So watch out for that one. You know, and I actually called the company and, and told them about it, and they didn't even care, So, which is a really sad one. The other thing we've been doing is we've been piecing together uh, John's wing windows for the VW. That's another fun little one. We've been working a little bit on the headlights or the taillights. And I've been tinkering with the Volvo. Uh, hey, Steve Boron. Hello, New Jersey. 
Um, and, you know, this, again, it's a lot of little, you know, shout out to West Coast Customs. Um, a lot of boring stuff like battery uh, relocation. And we've been running cables uh, where it's out of the way and it's not going to get hurt um, to power this car up the right way. I uh, Actually, let me tell you the story. In the process of uh, beating down this... Um, edge to make the tray fit and be able to shove the battery into the quarter panel and get it out of the way so to say uh i actually ruined my laptop i came in here that day i was a little bit uh relaxed i think and i laid my laptop right here on this lip and hanging over the edge then i proceeded beating the crap out of that little ledge <laughs> to get something to slide the battery in and in the process, the laptop shimmied off that roof and right that into the concrete. Ah. So, you know, I'm human. I make mistakes. <laughs> That's a gnarly one. Hey, Victor. Hey, Jeff. Thank you for the feedback. I, I appreciate it. But, um, so, uh, not a lot happened on the Volvo after that because I got really tired. That was an expensive laptop and it hit right on the corner, right down on the contract concrete and it took out the screen it took out the housing and it stopped working so i haven't worked on it. i figured today if i can finish getting this box installed and made and installed um so we can have secure power for now and a little extra weight over the right rear wheel because it's going to be a spinner <laughs> you know uh, we haven't done a lot on this thing either we're waiting for actually soon to come um the interior part has all been painted in the wood grain stuff and I'll reveal the artists and stuff when it comes in and we can show it. we're going to put all this stuff back together. Uh, we've just been minking around with little stuff like, uh, you know, we, you can't see a lot here, but this little firewall has a double section of insulation and then a factory uh, uh, panel that goes in here for insulation and then run all the things through it and get like the starter buttons and all those things installed in and around that and uh, I still can't believe this car oops I got a thing in between this so I haven't even adjusted the doors on this thing so that's how clean this thing is so anyhow uh, it's interesting too to note that when they put this together from the factory they snipped the bolts off because they're so du duplicate length and to match that we, we ran long bolts and then snipped them off with the same type of thing that they have there. Oh, there's one that I forgot to do right there. Um, but I even have some of the bolts left. We tried to put the original ones back on. And, oh, they don't have a snipped. Oh, yeah, you can see right there is a snipped one. They ran them long and they snipped them off. Which is kind of interesting because, you know, the firewall itself is convoluted and there's different stuff on the inside, which makes them, uh, uh, the need for longer bolts to get it quicker to install. But... Uh, Jeff's asking how my surgery went and you know what I'm holding the gimbal and I'm I'm working and you know I am um, very grateful to Arrowhead or orth orthopedic for uh, uh, what they did you know they went in it was a brutal surgery per se but I was pretty lucky overall and uh, I actually started working four days after the surgery just light stuff so thank you for that Anyhow, and then, then we have right under here is actually a 5.3 combo that I got a, from uh, Jeff Givens. And uh, we've been stripping it down, getting all the stuff off of it so that we can go in and play. Also, anybody is looking, this is a mid-80s, like an 84 old uh, 305 with a 400 transmission. It is a runner. Um, it needs a intake gasket. We have a leak in that uh, and it's a leak in the pickup tube or in the filler tube but Other than that it's a runner uh, So if anybody's interested in it, it's a complete setup the other block carb doesn't come with it But other than that, it's pretty complete If you're interested, let me know in a p.m. And then uh, because my Suburban is getting a little um, tired of trans going out on it I'm not putting another tranny in it. it's got almost 400,000 miles on it so we decided to make this our uh, shop truckster and uh, so we're gonna put a 5.3 in it and I bought it from Busse it already had a bunch of new 
uh, uh, suspension components and I had uh, straight line steering uh, and San Bernardino do the, the steering box and we put a new center link on so suspension and brake wise it should be good once we get the 5.3 situated in it should be a pretty good motivator uh, for it and we can put a class 3 hitch in the back and some overload bags and uh, it should be good too hello uh, Illinois um, I also have uh, I bought a cutlass two-door convertible that I'm going to steal some part off of to make this uh, something else but that's something we'll talk about later anyhow I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on some of the stuff that we're doing and uh, tell you guys I love you all I appreciate you guys hanging with us here at custom mics and I hope you're all feeling well and uh, are safe more than anything uh, things are kind of strange right now uh, I've had a lot of conversation with friends and family but uh, the reality is is that uh, everything good change starts with the family unit and if enough family units are uh, in harmony and taking care of each other we'll be able to take care of the families or help the families that can't take care of themselves but ultimately you can't change who's president direct but you can change your immediate family and take care of them take care of your locals take care of your local shops take care of your local artists buy something from them instead of uh, Swift or Vift or whatever they call it um, you know change starts at home good change starts at home good change starts at the family doesn't matter if you don't like the candidates work towards the future in your community and we should be good anyhow love you all I'm babbling on just wanted to give you an update we again appreciate you guys hanging with custom mics love you all see ya